the technology between us does establish a polarity if we are in love together. Now, I'm taking a risk and, and, and assuming that we understand the context when we use that amazing word, love. Because the experience of resonating together, arcing together, if two or more of us um, are in agreement or come into agreement, and we've been exploring that together, haven't we, recently, those of us who come to these services and those of us who are new online, I just say, whatever we know, you know, it's just making it conscious. We, we understood that the real meaning of the word agreement has so much to do with how we resonate together, how we find a, um, a living sound that comes out of the stillness of our being that, that activates an energy and a consciousness in our own experience. So our relationship in, in these moments together is about making real um, what the word agreement alludes to, which is actually just the natural process of loving one another through resonance, through giving voice to, or letting sound in one's own heart, our own particular relationship with the source of our being, with the one who dwells or the one in the midst of this field of relationship, this creative field that's in the space between us. I was at a concert last night, about 3,000 people in an open air concert called a particular banking group, RMB, but it was known as the Starlight Classic Concert. And they have been going for 25 years. And each year, there is this extraordinary invitation to push pause, open ourselves, and discover the amazing gifts and magic of the young people and new talent that live in this diverse society of South Africa. I wish you could have been there with me. It was amazing to see young people feeling the urge and the passion of their own soul to bring the gift, to share it with 3,000 people. No sense of self-consciousness in the inhibited use of that word. We had opera sung by young African people who grew up in disadvantaged, deprived communities who now are on the world stage. They don't care about fame. They care about bringing into manifestation the spirit that they grew up with in this country, the spirit of giving and receiving called Ubuntu. So we had opera sung by young local talent. We had um, Bruce Springsteen and Simon and Garfunkel and um, Verdi and Puccini and Chopin. We had a wonderful smorgasbord of gift sharing. And the purpose behind it was to make a difference and create a new country. That's the reality of it. That's what we're doing right now together, if we will. If two or more of us are resonating, are gathered in this symphony of light and life, the symphony that is birthed by the fire of our love, we are in a heart-to-heart -heart significant creative project together. We are truly receiving, if we will, the raw ingredients for the manifestation, for the birth and manifestation of the only way that a world is ever born, and that is through vibration and sound. 